In this video, we'll be looking at how to create a pipeline using the SDK. We'll look at creating the pipeline on multiple data collectors. And finally, we'll take a look at deleting pipelines. Here is the code to create a pipeline. Let's go through it. There are quite a few print statements in here, but those aside, we're extracting all data collectors associated with our deployment, mine you dep one For each of the data collectors, and there may be more than one in this deployment, extract the details of it via its URL. We now use the get pipeline builder utility, and we're attaching it to our data collector via the ID of that data collector. There's then the creation of a dev raw data source stage and a trash stage. We join them together using the double chevron. Build the pipeline giving it a name. And then publish the pipeline to Control Hub. These are the steps you would normally go through to create a pipeline. Let's run the create docker engine script once again from the previous video, just so that we can get a second data collector on our deployment. We can see we have a data collector at the moment, so let's run our script again and create a second data collector with the create docker engine script. Checks the environment, checks the deployment as before, then creates a second engine. You can see we now get one with EBFDC this time for the initial container ID letters. So when we go into Control Hub, refresh, you can see we've got two data collectors in the list. The first one is EBFDC, and the second one is B671B. Let's go and create a pipeline. Remember this code will pick up all of the engines against our deployment, and we have two in this case, and it will create a pipeline called SDK Training Pipeline against each of them. We should end up with two pipelines. Let's now run the Create Pipeline script. Building a pipeline against the first data collector, adding that stage, adding the trash stage, publishing the pipeline. Done. Building a pipeline against the second data collector, again with the name SDK Training Pipeline, and that one's done. Let's have a look in Control Hub at all pipelines. And you can see we've got SDK training pipeline, and that is against the first data collector, which is the B671B. And then the second pipeline is against the other data collector, the EBFDC. Looking at the details of these, you can see we've got values in the raw data that we've assigned as part of the SDK commands. Looking back at the SDK commands, that's where they were put in there, the raw data value. Now have a look at deleting the pipeline. If we start off with the code that's been commented out here, then running the script will only delete one of the pipelines at a time it will pick up a pipeline called SDK Training Pipeline and then just delete it. You would have to run the script again to delete the second occurrence of SDK Training Pipeline. But if we use the code here, we can say, pick up all pipelines. This will pick up every single pipeline on Control Hub and for each of them, we're going to run through them and say, if the pipeline name is equal to SDK Training Pipeline, then delete it. So that should delete both pipelines in one program run. Let's try running it. Just for confirmation, remember we've got two pipelines called SDK Training Pipeline. So back in our Strigo environment, if we run this script, delete pipeline, we have no print statements. You can see this is finished with exit code zero. Let's check in Control Hub. Do a refresh and you can see it's removed both pipelines. Thanks for watching.